Hi guys, my name is Vegas Danny and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'd like to just say a big thank you to uh, all those that have subscribed and of course added to me added me to their friends list over the last uh, three or four months I believe. I think I've come back um, just after Christmas I think, so a couple of months now. Um, I've reached the 100 subscribers um, total, so really happy with that guys and again I would just like to thank everyone for watching my videos and subscribing and uh, commenting and uh, hopefully there will be many more to come but today I will be returning to the sci-fi genre one of my favorites and um, I've got uh, a couple of little pieces here to show you one is the two disc special edition of a very great uh, sci-fi film The Fifth Element which is directed by of course Luc Besson one of my favorite directors of recent years this is the two, di two disc special edition. Um, I'm not sure when it was released. I know the movie came out in 1997, so over a, over 10 years now. Um, it, a big departure for Luc Besson, being that he did mostly um, crime dramas in the form of um, Leon, which was, I believe, the, the movie directly before this this particular the film. Um, it, uh, it, is, it is a sci-fi film, but it's, it's very light-hearted. Certainly a different vibe to, to a lot of uh, sci-fi movies that we get these days. Um, the main uh, enjoyment for me uh, comes in the form of Bruce Willis, who, uh, who I think is, is really fantastic in this, really funny. He's always been quite a good comic actor, Bruce Willis. We don't see much of it, but certainly from the early days on um, TV shows such as uh, Moonlighting, He's always had uh, good com comedy timing, and uh, in this he really shows it off. Um, also, the design of the film, um, in conjunction with um, the fashion designer Jean-Paul Gaultier, a lot of the costumes uh, were designed by him. And uh, as I say, it's, it's a different vibe, it's more light-hearted. Um, there is action in it, but uh, as I say, it's, it's more to do with the, the look of the film, my enjoyment of it anyway. I watched this quite recently, as soon as I got the, the DVD. And uh, it certainly hasn't lost any of its um, any of its pizzazz. I uh, watched it on DVD, but with with my Blu-ray player, it does upscale it, and uh, the film does look fantastic. But I recommend getting this on uh, Blu-ray if possible when it comes out. I also have a second part uh, of this video, which will be looking at my new collectible, this replica, the Fifth Element Police Blaster, which I received last last week from Play.com. Um, it's on at a fantastic price at the moment on play. I'm not sure for how long, but it's on at, I believe, £89 here in the UK. And I'll be showing you uh, this piece up close and personal. But yeah, if, you, uh, if you're if you looking for um, for a new movie, sci-fi film that you haven't seen, this is, uh, this is certainly one for you. Um, set in the year 2257. Um, I'm just going to read the synopsis here. Um, a planet-sized sphere of su supreme evil is approaching the Earth at relentless speed, threatening to exterminate every li li living organism unless four ancient stones representing the elements of Earth, wind, fire and water are united with the mysterious fifth element. So there we go, guys. Uh, starring, also starring Gary Oldman and Mila Jovovich. Uh, Mi Mila, in fact, does a really good turn uh, as the fifth element herself, and Gary Oldman does a fantastic turn as the... Uh, as the bad guy, always always good as a bad guy, Gary Oldman, and uh, always brings a, a little bit of class to, to a production. I'll move swiftly on to this piece here. This is the box that it came in, the Fifth Element um, Police Blaster, made by Hollywood Collectibles, who I know do a fairly good good job, not as quite as well known as prolific as Sideshow, but very good at movie accurate replica weapons. Let's get on to the, the main meat of the review here. Um, very very heavy piece first off straight out of the box um it is removable from its plaque here it comes separate from the plaque um it's really weighty um i'm not entirely sure what it's made of um obviously there are a, a plastic and metal components but the real weight of it is uh, is a, a surprise um it certainly you can hold it out in front of you for for a few seconds without just before getting a, an arm ache but um that's always a good sign of a, of a quality piece. The stand itself has got uh, a nice plaque, the Fifth Element Police Blaster, and it's numbered limited edition, uh, 169 out of 1,000 pieces. So fairly low, not too bad. From above here, you can see certain 
design elements, uh, namely this piece here, which is uh, some kind of uh, copper wire formed in, uh, in, a, in a coil shape, which had some nice detail. Uh, none of these pieces move, unfortunately, but uh, I believe this is the reloading mechanism here. As you can see, Police Department CP 351NY5. Uh, this is the New York Police Department set in the movie, so NY5. Uh, on this side, this is how I've got it displayed, but of course, um, Hollywood Collectibles has done a, a, a good job of giving you both uh, angles, so you're allowed to, to obviously, um, being that the, the plaque is on both sides, you're allowed to display it either side. But on this side in particular, we've got uh, a couple of features here I want to show you. Um, if you turn this, uh, I believe it's like a power on switch, if you turn this, once you get a nice light up effect I'm not sure if you can quite see that let's just turn that slightly so it makes it look slightly more authentic unfortunately there's no power up sounds or um, sounds of any kind but um, as I say in the dark that looks pretty cool quite pleased with that one the batteries are stored here it does come with two batteries which didn't actually work coming out of the box so a little warning there get some decent batteries before you uh, get too excited um, but as I say batteries are nicely hidden behind here the trigger itself doesn't actually work it's it's static um, again unfortunately I would have liked to maybe a sound up power up sound um, I believe they've got a, a Dallas Corbin version which is uh, Bruce Willis's character in the movie he's got his own handgun and I believe that when you um, click the Dallas version click the trigger the um, the count the counts starts to count down basically from a thousand um, but as I say, this doesn't, but it is uh, it is a static piece, it's not meant to be a toy, so um, I'm very pleased with the design of it. I think it's really cool colours with the uh, s silver and gold, and as I say, at the price that I got it for, I'm sure it's uh, bound to go up in the next uh, few weeks. So there we are, guys. Um, my second Hollywood collectibles piece. Um, Master Replicas has, have always been my favourite company for um, weapon replicas and you will see that in various videos on YouTube that they put a little bit more, slight, almost a, a decent a decent finish on their on their products certainly with the, they have a Perspex case which they cover the weapon which always looks, um, always looks very neat and uh, also they, they do have power up sounds but as I say the, the sheer weight and uh, quality of the build of this piece was um, I was really happy with. So there we are, guys. It's the head-on view. May have been nice to have a, maybe uh, some light coming out of either of these holes here, but again, I'm not going to complain too much. I am a, f a fan of the piece. So there we are, guys. I'm going to put the box up here and just. Uh, I'll just let you know that there are plenty more movies to, to come, plenty more uh, video reviews, including poster reviews, DVD reviews and updates. So um, I'm looking forward to, to posting those up. And of course, I, I welcome anyone that wants to uh, to add me as a friend, of course, subscribe. Um, I enjoy uh, all your comments, guys. So keep them coming. So until next time, I am Vegas Danny. This is Vegas Danny Returns. And... Uh, Hope you all take care and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.